Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you guys about building an exponent method in Ruby. One of the things I wanted to show you guys was how we can use something like a for loop in order to write a little method. And I think one method that could be kind of cool to see how we might be able to write it would be an exponent method. So an exponent method would basically take two numbers. It would take a base number and it would take a power number. And then it would basically take the base number to the power number. So if we passed in like a two and a three, then this would basically give us like two raised to the third power. That's essentially like what this method's gonna do. And let's go ahead and create it. So I'm just gonna say def, and why don't we just call this POW for like power. So it'll take a number to a specific power. And then inside of these parentheses, we actually wanna have this method accept two parameters as input. So we want the base num and we also want the pow num. So the base number and that's gonna be taken to the power number, okay? All right, let's end off this method. Now, inside of here, we need to figure out how can we actually do this? You know, how can we take the base number to the power number? And my solution would be to use a for loop. So the first thing I'm gonna do actually is create a variable. So I'm just gonna call this result and I'm gonna set this equal to one. And then down here, right before uh, the end of the function, we're just gonna return it. So I'll just return result. So ultimately this variable result is going to represent the value of the base number taken to the power number. So let's use a for loop. Essentially what I wanna do is I want to multiply the base number by result pow num times, if that makes sense. So let's flesh out this for loop and then we'll kind of see how it's gonna work. So I'm gonna say this, I'm gonna say pow num dot times do and basically what we're going to do now is we can actually just pass this an index now i don't know if we're going to actually use this index but it might be good just to pass it in anyway and down here i'm just going to end this off inside of this little loop here we're basically just going to multiply result times the base num so i'm just going to say result is equal to result times base num so essentially what's happening is num dot times do index this is essentially just going to loop through the code inside of here num times so if num is three we're going to loop through this code three times if num is 10 we're going to loop through this code 10 times and every single time we go through this code we're going to multiply result times the base num so the first time through the loop it's just going to be result which is one times base num so results going to end up just being base num Second time through, it's going to end up being like base num squared. Third time through, it's going to end up being like base num cubed. So this is essentially how we can go ahead and write this method. Now, it's important to note that this is only going to work for positive number exponents. So if pow num is a negative number, then this method's actually not going to work. Um, but just for our purposes in this tutorial, let's just assume that we're always going to use a positive exponent. So once we've multiplied result times the base num as many times as we need to, then we can just return it. So believe it or not, this is actually all we need for this method to work. So let's go ahead and call this method and we'll see what we get. So down here, I'm actually just gonna print this out. So I'll just print out POW and why don't we take two to the third power, okay? So let's run this and you can see over here, we get eight. So two cubed is eight. Let's try another one. Why don't we do four cubed? So now we should get 64, good. Let's do five squared. So we should get 25 and we do. So looks like this method's working. So again, this is gonna work for uh, positive number exponents. Negative number exponents, uh, this won't handle it. But for our purposes, this kind of demonstrates how we can use a little for loop, or in this case, we're just saying num dot times in order to loop through something a certain number of times. And this can be extremely useful when we want to do something like this. And also, I just want to point out over here, I had kind of stored this variable index, um, but you don't actually have to do that. And in this case, uh, we don't need it inside of this method, but sometimes it's good to just have it there. So that's to kind of give you an idea of like a situation where we might be able to use one of these looping structures in order to like perform a function. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. 
Also, we're always looking to improve. So if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.